Kites dot the skyline at this beach in Sal Island, Cape Verde's most popular kite surfing destination. Locals and foreigners are taking advantage of the ideal conditions. World champion Marcel Lopez, popularly known here as Machu, is also back home. The 23-year-old became the island's second world champion after winning the wave and freestyle strapless category at the world event this year. That was a big dream coming true. Uh, it's a lot of people running behind a title. Uh, it was 30 people, which all of them are so good. So when you go on the water, each one of them, it's, it's a hit. It's a moment that you have to be really careful. You have to do everything. So it's not easy to be a, a champ or just to go through the top, you know. Machu's love for water sports was nurtured by his father, who was a surfer, but he chose kite surfing, which combines the wind and board surfing. Kite surfing can, however, be costly, and the world champion knows this too well. When I was a very small boy, I used to go surfing uh, with a very, very small boards that uh, sometimes uh, I find a piece of wood or my friends find a piece of wood and go to the beach, catch some little waves, stuff that starts like this, you know, you improving, you imagine that you can surf over that thing or you go, you try. It's something that starts to grow. His talent would see him rise above any challenges to follow in the footsteps of Mitu Monteiro, his countryman who has been accredited as a pioneer in strapless riding. It was back uh, six years ago when he got uh, the world title. It was kind of a, a door which was open for me. Uh, he was always taking me on the, on the shoulder. He was taking me on his board and pushing me to some waves. This is the same idea that I learned from him and I try to take from the, from the young boys from the islands. What I really prefer to do one day is to, to competing, you know, like Machu, to competing to, to be world champion, you know, yeah. That's what I'm doing. But um, here is difficult, you know. We need to have some uh, opportunity. I have a lot of guys here, a lot of children like me, you know. Did ha he's have good, uh, he's good on kite surf, you know, but don't have a lot of opportunity. The ocean opened a world of opportunity for Machu. And with his success, he now wants to help develop the sport, not just in Cape Verde, but also beyond its borders. Celestine Carone, CCTV, Sal Island, Cape Verde.